You don't usually see these uniforms at an event full of kids, but when it's an event as large as the National Boy Scout Jamboree, you can expect to see them all over the city. Over 40,000 scouts and visitors arrived today, making Glenjean the largest city in West Virginia for the next 10 days. We support the Jamboree as per um, orders from the Secretary of Defense, and doing that actually uh, solidifies our mission at NORTHCOM in the defense support to civil authorities. So doing the Jamboree mission uh, helps local, state, national, uh, federal emergency responders, uh, emergency managers at all levels of government to make sure that if something should happen that all those entities are ready to respond. And they've been preparing for over a year to make sure everything goes according to plan. And as you can see right behind me, there's representation from every branch of the military. It's the Joint Task Force for the National Scout Jamboree. Every department of the U.S. military is working together on and off the Summit Bechtel Reserve. We manage this just like we would manage a disaster response with the same mechanisms and we focus on that joint interagency capability so you've got local, state and federal. This also becomes a highlight for the scouts who get a chance to see military equipment and meet military personnel and at the same time allows the military to get real life experience in training. It, it allows us during the event to train. Uh, it allows us to do exercises. We have multiple venues going on at the same time as the Jamboree to make sure that our responders are up to date and, and can respond to whatever happens to protect the people of the state. So when you see them, make sure to thank members of the military for their service to our state. Reporting from the Glen Jean National Guard Armory, I'm Rebecca Fernandez reporting for Newswatch.